welcome back to F1 Manager 24. Here we are for episode 2, so that's why we set up our team of P1 Extreme Motorsports. And yeah, since then, we only did the first race in Bahrain. But since then, I've done Jeddah and Australia. I've this just finished off doing off camera because I know for a lot of races this season, it's going to be a case of very low positioning and to be honest Australia was interesting Jeddah Nat was uh, left to be desired so we've been a bit busy a little bit since then so first of all we had a issue between our drivers of Piastri and Tom Stoddard I tried to intervene but looks like not much has gone well but hopefully it should work itself out over time also, if we head into our car development, so I think last time we joined, so yeah, last time we put suspension on. Also, we're making a second design on the rear wing, so that's all of our CFD and wind ton time allocated. Also, I'll be busy making a lot of parts because my plan is I'm not going to really upgrade the car too much this season. I want to get enough parts in to last us the rest of the season and then come if you get any regulation changes in that then I want to pour heavy into the second year also I'm not going to make a mistake with what some other people some other content creators do with because at the moment we've got 40 million and if we have a look at our finances in terms with dollars left in the cost cap and yep I see that at the moment 91 million has to be spent on car parts development. Thankfully, no emergency purchases. A bit of money on facilities not here and there, but I'm thinking if we keep on spending money on staff and all new stuff in that, we're going to be risking off getting booted from the team. So, in terms of our facilities, I see we are upgrading our scan department. And if you have a look at all of our facilities, all around about 94 to 100 percent so i am happy with everything at the moment yeah i'm not interested in upgrading anything and if we go into our race results so yeah only one race worth noting was australia it was wet it was a bit during the race and that so it was a case of we were on intermediates and dries at the end so i took a risk of for both our drivers PS3 as well as Behrman to literally stay out until it dried it dried we went to the softs and that and yeah I was thinking maybe you have a chance for points at PS3 we were on chance for points against Sonoda which would have been a phenomenal thing to get our first points but nope fortunately three laps ago sergeant crashed out caused a safety car Berryman was in P14, we had about 3 or 4 laps to go, I thought I'll take a gamble with Berryman since he's already in P14 Take a gamble, pit him and see if we get at least one lap of green flag racing And unfortunately we finished on the safety car so yeah, to no avail In terms with our DHL fastest pit stops we clocked 4th with 2.662 seconds at 12 points so that's putting us well in the sands there at the moment. But yeah, so now we've got 11 days left to Japan. And yeah, really all we're doing at the moment is actually manufacturing parts after manufacturing parts. And because I am on last gen console, this does take a while to advance. Yeah, we've got a scouting upgrade that's going to be done at the end of the month. But yeah, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Also, we do have a design, design complete, and I think that is our suspension. So yeah, let me get all this crack, crack a lacking along, and I'll see you folks at Japan. And yeah, I thought to bring folks in quickly in that, so we just got 5 million for our sponsor plan, so that is lovely. And again, I mentioned, yeah, we're still going to get a lot of money coming in, we're still getting... Hopefully a mini from our objectives and that, but unfortunately we can't spend all this money we're going to be accumulating, so my plan for all the money is going to be a case of next season, get new driver maybe, because yeah, we got Behrman, we're still developing in between our 
episodes and that. Barman did go up to 75 rating. So that is nice. And at the moment, I'm just going through to see what we can do. I think, alright, key. Let's just do some VIP activities. Yeah, let's keep our VIPs happy. So, I'm now going over our engagement and that. But I'm thinking, let's treat our VIPs nice and that. So, yeah, engagement, 5 mil. And we're going to get a mandatory 8 million. So, that is nice. So, yeah, at the moment we're at 44 mil. So, we're going to get another 8 mil once the sponsor plan has been done. But yeah, so in terms with what races we're going to be doing in that, I'm thinking... Oh, shit, what? Let's have a look at the calendar for the next three or four races. Ooh, we've got a new regulation vote, so... Depends on the weather now. If it's, like, very mixed weather, I will be doing Suzuka. But, okay, right, so we've got missing parts ads. Oh, boy. We've got a lot wrong here, so... To be honest, suspension has just been done. That's being manufactured at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to keep all the same parts on for Bearman at least. Piastri as well, because a lot of these parts are high and medium risk. So yeah, I think, you know what, we'll skip... Uh, go to our candor and that, so... Suzuka, I think we'll skip in that. And then China in that. Yeah, I think we'll do China. Miami, we will skip, but it is a sprint weekend, so fair enough. And terms with in May. Yeah, so we've got Miami, and then, yeah, so next episode, I think we'll do Monaco as well. But yeah, so I think we'll skip Japan. I'll do setups now to get setups to about 90 to 100%. I've got a very good system of always guaranteeing to get setups at 90 to 100%. Ideally, 100% does require a bit of manual work in that. But for you folks, you'll skip all the practice and that, so you won't need to see anything. But yeah, in terms of our strategy options and that, so, or race targets. This is going to be an easy meal. Behrman, he can get about 18th consistently, just about. Piastri, not a problem. 18th for Piastri is just a sound guarantee. So, let me get set up sorted, and I'll see you folks at qualifying. So, right, practice has been done, and as you see, I've got our drivers up to 100% confidence with the setup. And yeah, both of them, in terms of driver confidence, are in the high regions and that, and actually Piastri is almost into the very high, and Behrman is just into the high category. And yeah, again, I'm not going to expect great results at the moment, because at the moment we need to just keep on developing the car, and I don't know why I selected a managed session. And yeah, we qualified absolutely last on the grid, and it makes sense because at the moment we're not putting our upgrades onto the car. Yeah, I just want all the upgrades on the car at once because I want to see what the total package is going to be like. Because I think if we could try to get into, you know, into the points and that by the end of the season on a regular basis, that is our goal at the moment. But anyway, so in terms of strategy and that, so it looks like it's going to be a two stopper, soft, soft, medium. So to be fair, I am going to skip this, but I'm just going to underfuel the cars. Whether or not the game take, takes this into consideration, I do not know. And yeah, Piastri in that, I'll put a bit of a uh, easier step on that, and I think to be fair, we can go a bit more aggressive here. I think that's going to be the strategy in that, but anyways, we'll simulate, and yeah, I'm hopefully we we'll get some decent results, but... I'm not optimistic at the moment. We just need to keep the car in one piece and that, so... Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Oh no, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. And top 10! Uh, nope. Piastri and that. Oh no, that's the standings. We want the results. Oh dang it, Piastri. 
maybe it was a strategy or something, finished the experiment, got to P14, ahead of all the corals, that is two laps down. So that is Barrett Dendus, Kicks Albers, Alpine, and one of the Hasses. So, yeah, it is not looking good for us. But at least we're making strides in the DHL Championship, at least. So we're down one spot. So Mercedes Aston is actually turned up now. So currently P7, 3 or 4 points. So that's going to help us with some prize money. Only half a mil there, but again, I'm not too worried about that. All that's going to be spent towards next season. Alright, so back in the hub, we got some... Oh, okay, so first of all, we got some suspension simulation problems. Uh, so, concerned about the suspension simulation, there were signs that could be structural damage. So, you know what? 60k, I am not going to take that gamble. So, a lovely jubbly. And also, we've got a minor regulation change, a minor technical change for next season. You know, it says minor, it's pretty substantial now, either high speed or low speed changes. So, I'm thinking low speed changes and that. So, in terms of the high speed and that, we're going to be losing less on that. So, I think that's going to be. Yeah, so I know what I'm going to do with that. So, low speed change. At the end of the day, we'll develop and get everything all that managed. And actually, I'm going to stop here for a minute because I want to plan ahead for next season. So, I'll show you. before I do that, let's put everything onto the new car. So, lovely jubbly. Install all new items where we can. Okay, front wing's still being manufactured, or needs to be manufactured, so... Okay, rear wing as well, fair enough. Side pods, and lastly, one of the suspension components, but I know we're going to get some more coming in. But yeah, I want to focus on next season for a moment. But yeah, also, also to make sure manufacturing that. Front wing, I want to produce what six of those, and yeah, so we'll get them both for the first three actually to be fair, ready for China. So that's going to be costing us 1.35 mil. But you know what? I'm not too bad on that, so I am going to wait for doing any more work on that. But yeah, in terms with next season. We've got our technical chief in that, Hold Holdsley. He's his contract is up at the end of the year. Our spawn director in that, Julian Roos. Three years left. At the moment, what's his rate rating? Eighty four. Yeah, I think we could go a bit better better on that, I think personally. And also yeah, Tom Sawyer in that. I'll focus on that later on, but yeah, so I want to do some recruitment, so scouting, yes please, change the scouting sizes, because I want three scouts, and yeah, so I'm going to send them off, and we should hear supporting regulator, now supporting director on that, so, so, alright, I have skipped time a little bit, we're just a couple of days before China, so, yeah, it turns with yeah, drivers and that unhappy that with the car performance, I knew. However, I've scouted some people now, so this is including Kimmy Antonelli, because I want to recruit him as a affiliate driver in that, so for two seasons. Immediately or next season. Let's go with I'm gonna try immediately. And yeah, so what I want to do is offer him a 1 million contract. And you know what? If he wants to sign with us now, we'll give him a bit of a banger of a package. So I want to see, get to the end of this blue line. You know what? We'll give him some days because yeah, I want Kimi Antonelli in our team so we can develop him, develop him 
just in case we can't get the clerk. And if for whatever reason Piastri wants to leave in that, so I am absolutely pushing this, so I'll say yes onto that. And yeah, bit of a breakout multiplier in that, so I'm gonna offer a contract in that. That should be come back as a yes. Because I was on the edge of the blue line that so because yeah, his mentality is enthusiastic maximum development and at the moment he's only 17 years old but also I have scouted a replacement technical chief so I'm gonna go with Enrico Cardile or Cardile so yeah once again propose contract and yeah again that'll be for next season for sure so he wants two seasons, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give him a bit of a bump, so currently he's on 3.9 mil. Let's go with just shy of over 5 mil. So it can either be immediately or seven days, so you know what? Fine. And once again, I'm going to bump up that, because yeah, we're gonna take some hiring costs at the moment. Obviously, all this is going to be for next season, so... Yes, yeah, so not save a bit of money there. Yeah, you know what? Let's stick with two seasons. Let's not be too greedy here. And yeah, I do have one final... The clerk will do next. So yeah, propose contract and that, so... Four seasons. Oh, he's going to set the contract better. Buyout fee. Oh, 2.6 versus 4 mil. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a hard one there. And again, we can't do 7 days. I'm going to try and match his salary a bit and give him a huge signing bonus. And it should be me before I set recording that I accidentally sent the contract, but so yeah, I changed things a bit, so hopefully he's gonna accept the contract in seven days. And it's gonna be for a immediate start. Signing bonus of a million and a salary of around two million in that, so yeah, again above his pay grade at the moment for what he's on at the moment, but I want the best on our team. And I think I'm going to give it a shot, just in case Piastri leaves us at the end of the season. I'm going to scout the clerk, because yeah, I want a clerk and Behrman lineup. Also, just in case, because I know Paris is going to be out of contract at the end of the season, so I'll sign a con send scouts out on there. And yeah, it's also just, let's look at our staff, so... Jared and Murphy in that. You know what? Top four. I'm not too fussed about that. Race engineers. So, actually, just in case we do get the clerk, he's paired with science. We go with Javier here. Or do we go with Bono? Yep. Patience is high. Open it to negotiations. So, I think you know what? Oh, yeah. I'll send some scouts out, and yep, that is all we're going to be doing in that, so hopefully we are, we'll hear back in that, because yeah, I want to develop this team to the max. Because yeah, at the moment, you look at the bottom right, we've got 44 million. Unfortunately, we'll be able to spend all that money this season, but that money can go into the next season, paying salaries out of our drivers and that, and missing car parts, so fair enough. So yeah, now we've got the rear wings, or front wings, shall I rephrase that? So yeah, it's on the car. Changes the design. Oh nope. High risk on the rear wing. Ah, dang it, ooh. Gearbox, is this going to be another problem for us? Do I think we oh no, yeah, because, yeah. I think this season we should be fine with the gearbox, isn't that? ERS, I think we're going to be fine. I'll, I am, this is a bit of a power circuit. I am going to install new components. 
but yeah, I think, yeah, ear rest and maybe the gearbox for, who's that, Behrman's going to be an issue. Oh no, Piastri, shall I rephrase it? And for Behrman, yeah, again, I'm going to saw new components. These components here, I'll use them for practice at, even the one that had major damage gearbox for, uh, what's it, Piastri, Nat. Now, yeah, that'll be fine, that. But yeah, definitely we're going to need a new ERS come the end of the season. And yeah, again, gearbox as well. And maybe I may just whack out a new engine that, but... Yeah, a million for a gearbox, so... If we need a new engine, we're at risk of breaking the cost cap. Again, at the moment, I am going to be a bit cautious with this. But now, all of our cars has got all new upgrades, apart from the rear ring. The rear ring is in still development, I think, or is it? Yeah, it's got four days left of development. But also, we can start some research for next season's car. So, again, that's going to be the front and rear ring. So, yeah, we've got no ATR period, or like no, no CFD in the wind tunnel time. However, we can still manufacture stuff, and I can still do a bit of testing, so... Well, not manufacture, but still... Get a bit creative here, so... Yeah, if I should say... Yes to everything, to the max. Yeah, what that would do, and now again... Little improvements here and there. So it costs us a bit, 1.8 mil. And yeah, I was going to do the same, again for other areas as well, so let's go with a floor on that. So again, I think for this one, drag reduction, I think we're not too bad at the moment, like acceleration at the moment, we're seventh. The one we're, we're at is DRS effect. So yeah, I think, you know what, I'm just going to up those a little bit. And yeah, it should improve airflow. And yeah, again, minor touches on the drag reduction. And yeah, this is going to be the key for us to get a head start next season in that. And yeah, again, I'll do the same here, so... Drag reduction, yes please. Engine cooling, sure. So yeah, little improvements, just cost us a bit, but I am happy with that, and now, let's go to the race, so yep, again, we'll get everything all set up, and yep, heading to China, and, and once again, what I'll do is, I'm going to get set confidence to 100%, by around FP2, I think, and yep, I'll see you folks at qualifying. Oh no, right, this is a sprint race, I think, so... is it? I think this is going to be a sprint race, if that's the case then... We're just getting settled here in Shanghai! Yep, whatever, do care, Crofty. Ah, yes, yeah, so... It's P1, sprint quality on Friday, so... Yeah, good thing we're doing manual control here, because... I'm going to need to try to get the optimal setup as possible, so... Let's see where it's at after one practice session. Yeah, so I think we should be fine now with something that I have set them out twice a day, two full runs. I did send them out for a third run in practice, but obviously we ran out of time. So yeah, at least our hard braking is optimal. The rest I'm going to be working on, so about 93% confidence and set wise here. 89% that was its highest in that, so they both sh that should be a lot higher for both of these after sprint qualifying. However, let's head into sprint quality and just see how we do. And again, we'll check, check for rain. Light. No rain is coming. And yeah, I also send all of our drivers out now. And yeah, they get that done. 
and then see where we stand once they're back into the pits. Oh no, a bit of traffic there. Should set them out for two laps, but I'm going to regret that decision. And yeah, it's time to send our drivers out. So I set them up to for two straight flying laps. So hopefully we should get some good, hopefully some good results. Why not we get into SQ2? I do not know. At the moment, Behrman is on a double down, and Piastri, on the other hand, is improving. And that is up to P15. But Behrman. So, this is this one hand only lap. Can he get into SQ2 and knock out his teammates? So, currently, it is us, the two Alpines, and two Kicksalbers, and Ricardo from RB in the drop zone. But yeah, now come down the longest straight in the grid, or oh, not in the grid, in his calendar season. Piastri has been knocked out. And Behrman, can he improve? Yes, he can, but he cannot beat his teammate Piastri. But what can Piastri do in that? Can he improve? Uh, I'm not sure if I was improving or not, but yeah, again, we're so close to getting to the verges of SQ2. But at least we should have our feedback for our self confidence. So we'll have a look at that before the race. And the sprint race, and we'll go from there. Tires and that is going to be mediums for both. Love you, Jubbly. And 99 and 100% confident. So, in terms with for what we can do here for Behrman, I can make some minor tweaks that get that braking stability up in that for the race. But 99%, I am happy for that. So, we can make normal adjustments after the sprint race before we go out in normal qualifying before we hit in park for me. But yeah, do I underfuel? I am thinking of underfueling, I think so. Be at least a lap, just one lap. Nothing too crazy now because we've got 19 laps to race, but in terms with driver options and that, so want maximum attack, maximum deploy. And then, yeah, for there, we can conserve the tires and that, we can lift the coast and that quite a bit. But yeah, so 17th and 18th, I'll try it, but to be fair, if I know we're not going to make any advantages, I will just retire the cars and that about halfway through because at the end of the day, I'll save some mileage because I know that's going to bite us in the ass towards the tail end of this season. Go. The sprint in Shanghai. Anyways, it is five red lights and it is lights it's out. Away we go. Could set Baron himself, Crofty. But yeah, so here we are. 17th and 18th. Although, okay, Behrman is pulling off ahead in that. Come on, just make moves. 17th and 18th, if you're fighting each other, make. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tell Behrman to let his teammate pass. I usually don't do team orders, but. Yeah, there you go. Let your teammate pass, please. So, yep. also, yeah, I've got to put overtake okay, aggression onto go. high. Copy. So, yeah, it's going to do that for both. And, yeah, Piastri that Copy. is making headways now. Behrman is not too far behind. Bay Mace, let's settle down now. Copy. And let's just see what we can do here. Can you make any strides and improvements in that? Copy. There's a bit of a gap between Ricardo, Hulkenberg, and Sonoda, and then towards the points. And that. Again, we need P8 Copy. for points and that, so to be fair, I may just retire the car now. Actually, you know what? No. For our first sprint race, I will just. what I was going to go for it now and see what we can do. So, Piastri has overtaken Albon, so. Look at that. A nice dive in that. That's right, we've got all, pretty much apart from the rear wing now, we've got all new upgrades onto the car in that. 
Come on, Piastri, right? overtake the Hasses. So. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm going to say. Oh. One. I forgot about the URS now. That's You're my bad. Just rinse the tires a bit, please, Piastri. 0.4. Go for it. Attack, attack, attack. How's the time? Come on. <laughs> Good, okay, so far. Tire wear is okay. Oh, come on. I know this is going to be a bit of a difficult section here and that for us to overtake, so just stay close. We should have the speed to overtake, I think. Come on, let's see how we perform here. So, currently we're eight tenths down, so nine tenths. I was going to get the arrest assistance now. Come on, go for a dive, go for a dive, come on! Oh, bloody up, Yashri. Head on to that night. Can Piastri overtake in two? Turn one, yes he can. Through the shell section. And that's what we need. So Piastri is looking good. Bearman, come on. And she what? I am just going to sort of coast along. Because, yeah, because now we've got a massive five second gap to Hulkenberg. So. It's not looking good for us, even if we can go into the top 10. I would love to see a top 10 for us. No, we lost the spot to Albon. I think that's because of tire wear. Yes, it is. Everyone else is doing far better than us, and you know, I wonder why. So, but yeah, at the moment, it's just managing that tire wear. Final lap. And yeah, so 15th, 16th, you know what? I can't Let's complain. See what pace you can do. Whether or not we're going to make it to the end, I very much doubt it, so. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to save that amount of fuel in the lap, so. You know what? Let's retire both cars here. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna retire. I don't want to run out of fuel. So you know what? Retire both cars, please. Come in. Box, box, box. And yeah, that is both of us out. So fortunately, Harris overtook for Sappen towards the line. Oh, Alonso, very close to Richard for sure. Hampton on stroll, and yeah, I don't think there's going to be any more movements, but yeah, so today in that, I think, to be honest, P14 was likely in that. P14 was optional. I think they, it's just the sprint in that, so this is not where the main points are made, anyways, in that, so yeah. Return of that early. The competition out there. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't see that cutscene, though. That was depressing enough for us. But anyway, so now we should get our full set of confidence. I know, yeah, we had that, didn't we? So let's make some adjustments here. And then we head into qualifying. And there we go, qualifying done. And unfortunately, we had, well, skip ahead for you lot because for some reason I had a corrupted save file. Like, clip didn't save, but. Anyways, qualifying was uneventful, so P28 for Behrman. PS3, we were about a tenth off again to Q2. Once again, so close to getting into the Q2 and that. But anyways, I'm going to be mixing things up, so with Behrman, I'm going to go ultra-aggressive with maximum attack on soft tyres, two general synths on the mediums, and then for uh, to finish it off, we'll go back onto the softs for a fiery finish. For Piastri, I am going to play it safe. However, I am wondering, could I do a one stop? So looking at the times, eight, seven, yeah. I can do that. But yeah, it's going to be a lot quicker doing the more aggressive stops. Now the thing with F1 Manager 24 is you can get away with being a lot more aggressive and once again, I'm just going to try to have a little mess around here. 
Feet will, feet will push a bit harder at the ends. That's thing. If I can get these mediums to last longer, yeah, I'll give a spare time on the soft at the end. But yeah, that little tweak I did to Baron's car, 100% confidence, which I knew I was going to be no problems dealing with. And yeah, once again, in terms of driving within that, maximum attack. Because yes, I want to go for at least P15 in, that, in the race in that. So yeah, driver options in that. Maximum attack. And also, I am going to take some few outs. I know I've seen creators on PC and that go take all the few outs. Enough. There we go. So yeah, just a bit of a lighter fuel load than that. So, yeah, we'll manage to try in that. Because, yeah, again, it's one of those things where I haven't really done much China a lot in F1 games recently in that. Like, personally, play-wise that, I haven't really played China in that. But anyway, so let's head into Welcome the race. Back, uh, whatever Croft team I'm interested. For the Chinese Grand Prix. But yeah, let's see if we get into P15, they've got into the points. And away we go. So yeah, what I'm going to do as well is tell both my drivers to go maximum aggression. Piastri, now I'm going to be a bit more careful with in that. Nice to get past. Copy. So yeah, turn starts, yeah, we're 16th so and 17th. Good. Come on Piastri, overtake. Who is around us? So, a lot of people are on the soft side around the upper end of the grid. The office at the back is on the mediums, as you expect. And yeah, Ricardo Weird is on the hards. And there is Piastri there. Overtaking Bottas, that's what I like to see. Let's take a look at the replay. Now there's the car of Piastri. And yeah, just a simple overtaking. I don't think we've even got DRS yet. Nope. DRS is enabled this zap. Oh yeah, come on. Let's just go for I think we'll go to that three or so. Just look at that. That is what you like to see. But yeah, at the moment our rivals is sexy are being that and they are sixth and eleventh at the moment, so it'll be a bit of quite a ways away yet. But for now. So just calm just things down a bit. Copy. Piastri, now you've done a good job. And yep, yeah, same <laughs> with Berman. So we can I think, yeah, we'll slightly stretch this thing out Copy. a little bit. I think, yeah, if we just take the aggression off cool ever so slightly in that. Yeah, I'm good. And yeah, I'm just going to fast forward a bit. And yeah, Piastri is overtaking Magnussen, that's for P14. How are with Ricardo? Ooh. No, we're still not bad with Magnussen. Fairbairn's not doing too bad at the moment. But Piastri, come on. Let's just say overtake. It's okay to close the gap. One overtake, please. Use the overtake button. Copy. Come on, overtake. Oh no, I think because we're on off high risk curbs and that. Or on high risk curbs. Lift off end of Get ready. Copy. Okay, you're gonna be pitting Bearman very soon. Tires are still cooking a bit, so I think. For now, just gently ease it off just ever so slightly in that with Bearman. Yeah, I think Bearman will not will pit him on this app. Yeah, he's gonna go on to the mediums. Box box. But yeah, how is Piastri doing compared to others in that? Seventy four percent for the rivals for the rivals behind. 69, 70%, so... I think, yeah, with Piastri and that, so we will get there eventually. And, yeah, Berman in the pits. 
that is going to be a 2.8 second stop. Not great. That is really not great. But yeah, now, attack, 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 attack. Come on, Merriman. Good to see what happened there. It's We've got an issue, uh, Berman, or uh, what's going on here? Down into the long <laughs> breaking zone here, and... And that sees them move to 15. All right, that was an overtake. But... Oh, no. Piastri, no. That's Piastri, no. Oh, damage. Gearbox is absolutely knackered. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Is it going to be upgraded to a red flag or what? And there's been quite a crash. Oh. Virtual safety car. Do you pit? Stay positive. Behrman and that. I think, yeah, Behrman's our only hope now and at the moment just absolutely safe. Yeah, take it easy. Safety car is not out yet, there's no red flag, so... Yeah, you know what, let's just stay out. Save the tires. But yeah, even let us see what happened to Piastri. All, all of a sudden we saw that was... Just spun around, wrecked the rear wing in that. Fortunately, that's not a brand new rear wing in that, but I want to know what happened. I think it was something with Sergeant in that. Alright, VSC is VSC. ending. Copy. So, alright, let's go back on it. So, you'll save a bit of fuel now, top of up a little bit of your rest in that. New man's hand for us, so let's see where we are around the pit stops about that 30 or so. Alright, so that 33, and it is time to pit to Behrman. Yep, he has been now on his tires for a while, so. Do we say cars to the end? You know what, I'm going to take a gamble. Yeah, no, let's go hard to the end here. Contra box, box. Yeah, so go against the strategy in that. Copy, box. We're ready to the box. And at the moment, we still need to save a little bit more fuel. Just pushing a little bit on the outlap and now to get the tires up to temp. But yeah, we should have the tire where it's last us to the end. And that is lovely jubbly. Oh yeah, at the moment, P17. And yeah, once again, it is just a middle of nowhere. Fortunately, Piastri is our better chances of points than that, so... But Berman, like, again, this is rookie season now, so... He's going to devote to a egg for driver and a potential world champion. Tires are looking good. So just a little bit more push. Leave on the tyres at the high speed, but don't over but yeah, slip you know what? Yeah, let's just see how we go. May have to save a bit of fuel now towards the end. Should want to save a bit of fuel now. I see where we stand in about 10 laps of time or so. And alright, it is what? 3 laps to go. Nothing's really changing that. We're a lap down, so we'll still save a bit more fuel on that. Also, it's just general. It's been a bit. Uh, it, Bit of better management on the engine, that so yeah, got a bit of a two second gap to Hulkenberg, we yeah, 28 seconds to Ricardo, and yeah, we're that down, so fuel that should be fine. That's Leclerc. The clerk wins in that, that's lovely in that, but for us, it's Copy. another miserable race. B13. That is not ideal. At the end of the day, it's still above P18, which is our target objective now, so... <sighs> Guess now something in that, but... Yeah, we need to be up there, like... Today in that, P12, possibility in that way, if you know, with the Astro and that doing a good job. But, yeah, honestly, I don't know, it's just... At the moment, it's frustrating. Because we've got the team, we've got the drivers. We've got the, technically got the car on its way in that, but we we'll to get everything gelled together, everything a bit cohesive in that. But yeah, unfortunately to no avail. So heck knows what happened to uh what's it? Piastri in that. 
Yeah, currently we're P8 in Sundance, we need to be P6, P13, or oh, 3 points. And yeah, we didn't do well with the pit stops and that today. Not at all, but you know what, I'm not too fussed on that. And again, as I mentioned, half a mil. But yeah, it's, again, it's frustrating, it's, the car's got so much potential. Yeah, it's just, again, frustrating, it's a pain in the ass, like... Doing so well in that, but in, way, in some ways we're not doing well in that. Anyway, it's manufacturing on suspension in that. Got an action that requires response. And we've got contracts accepted for all of them. All contracts has been accepted, but now... Bono. He's got eight months left on his contract. Let's poach him. So, Tom Stollard, yes. Next season. Or oh, two or. No, fine, two seasons. Bit of a generous pay rise, I'll, I'll give him. And, yeah, seven days. Bit of a bonus. Sure, why not? That's going to be a guarantee in that. And, yeah, again, bump in the pay rise now. But yeah, all this cost is next season. Contribute to next season's cost cap. But now, the big one. Can we get Charles Leclerc on our team for next season? Replacing Piastri, which I know is going to be expensive as... <laughs> expensive as anything. Seven million to break Piastri's contract. How much? God! You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Just fuck the cost cap. Fuck, fuck, yeah, fuck the cost cap. Oh, yeah. The downside is he's gonna absolutely rinse us for money in that, so. Oh, uh, you know what? A healthy. Uh, 25 mil. So yeah, that is a 6 mil up increase. Race bonus. Get us a point in that. And I'll give you a quarter of a mil. He ain't gonna accept that, ain't he? P14 for 255 grand. You know what? Let's go for it. I doubt this is going to work, but at the end of the day, we don't have the car. For someone like the clerk's talent, we seriously do not. But anyway, so that is that done with. Uh, the old Piastri and Tom Sorrow thing. Yeah, that seems to be done. But alright, so now on to our new hire. So, our new technical chief. Yes, please. And that is for next season, or is it this season? I know Jonathan Wheatley is for this season. That's why it's the five mil breakage fee. And Kimi Antonelli, um, driver. I didn't, didn't think we offered them a driver, didn't we? Or. I'm sure that was just meant to be an affiliate. Or maybe a new driver to the team in that, perhaps. But yeah, there he is, Jonathan Wheatley, into our team. And yeah, so that's going to help us with our pit stops in that. But yeah, in terms with drivers and that. Yeah. Piastri's got an expensive contract, though. But yeah, how are these going to get replaced for next season? I am happy with everything at the moment. Pit stop times and that. Uh, again, it's around that two and a half, three second mark. We need to improve on that for sure. So, moving on. Kimi Antonelli is our affiliate driver. And that is an absolute lovely sight to see, and... 
maybe wet trucking that. Adaptability needs to be improved in that. I think, yeah, you know what? Let's just go with a balance. Development rate is at max. We've got a race simulator at level 4, so he is going to absolutely be kicking it. So, how much is it going to cost to upgrade? 3.5 mil. New, no, thank you, because I want to again have a look at the cost cap in that. And actually, at the moment, look at their confidence, so. Low confidence in that. A lot of disappointment results in that, but again, Shanghai and Australia was a good show for us. But yeah, so I want to. That's it, cost cap there to the right. 33 mil left, so. That's going to be design complete, and what's that? Oh, I can't remember, is that the rear wing? Got 10 days to get that on. I think you know what, that's going to be achievable, so yeah. Let's manufacture some wings. So yeah, they can be done in time. And again, I think four wings will do so. And yeah. Piastri, what did you break? That I'm not too worried with. That I am a bit annoyed with, so... And suspension as well, you absolute buffoon. And yeah, it's also right the gearbox as well. See, so yeah, we're going to need a new gearbox for sure for Piastri. Let's get out of the way with. And you what? Screw it. Let's bite the bullet now. We know we're going to need a new ERS now at some point. Uh, what about you, Bearman? You doing alright? Yeah, you doing alright? So, yep. Yeah. Let's get the rear ring on. And, yeah, let's see where we stand after USA. And, alright, so we have skipped ahead a little bit. We skipped two races, and what two races they were in that. So, if we have a look at results. So, to find our results, we go to... Yeah, Miami and that. So in Miami, if we look at historic results and that, or the previous race results, we finally scored our first point. Like, this is what I simulated. I just thought, heck it, simulate the race and that. And yep, yeah, Berman got a point. So officially, we got one point. And then moving on to Imla, we were potentially fighting for a point in that as well. But we was running. Piastri long on the hearts now. We had a safety car because of issues involving uh, who was it? Joe and Sergeant and that colliding caused the safety car and yeah, Behrman as well didn't have a great race because at some point again game didn't show me what happened. All of a sudden he got a random puncher in that. Tire was still at like what eight percent tire wearing that, so very new tires in that, and also just had a puncher. Spun, did a bit of damage to the car on that, so as we head to Monaco, that is one of the things we've got to be addressing. But yeah, also, since also I was meant to record it, but for whatever reason I didn't. Yep, we have officially signed Bono to replace Tom Sword at the end of the season. And four drivers for like the clerk in that. I have not signed it because yet, I thought about it and 25 mil is a lot of money and again going back to the whole cost cap and that we got 25 mil left to spend so even though i think yeah the cost cap in terms of driver salaries doesn't really do anything about it and i didn't want to take that risk so to be fair at the end of the season i'll try signing the clerk again and towards the end of the season that i will but yeah, so in terms with our board confidence in that, so we have a look. Yeah, low. But yeah, our last couple of results in that, the three races we've done in this episode, they have been satisfied, or four since we skipped Suzuka as well in that. So actually, we are looking very good now. So 
I'm going to still put their target, P7 in that. Yeah, P7 in the championship. So if we go to our cars. Oh, yeah. Bearman, you've wrecked a fair bit. So. Yeah, that idea of, you know, getting enough, enough of these done. Oh, uh, yeah. So. We may need to do some more manufacturing down the road. But again, you know what? That's fine. That's what we've got the cost cap for in that. Front wing, it's high risk, so I'll keep that for now. And Piastri, what's failed on you? Front wing, fair enough. Yeah, I know front wing's well, ain't gonna last too long in that. And I think that's the thing. I will go and show what I've done. Is I put a another design now for the chassis in that because we do need to make more strides on that. Like this year's car performance, with that first point we got, I'll keep that momentum up, easier our periods and that, and maybe do some like casual upgrades here and there. But overall, I'm not going to worry about too much. So suspension, we're going to need to do a couple of those. So I think. Another five will get us through the season. Four. Let's do four for now. Chassis, I'm not going to worry about because we're going to get a new chassis coming in. So you've got three of those in the warehouse, which should be fine. Rear wings. Oh, I'm not too sure on that. Side pods, definitely going to need doing in that. So I'll get another two whack on. And for our final one, under floor net. We've got plenty for that for now. And again, I'm thinking of upgrading the wings, under floor, and top of the chassis. We're already doing in that. So, next episode, we are going to be looking good. The research for our under floor and side pods are going to be done. On top of that, how long is it to a Monaco? Next round is Monaco. Go to our calendar and that. So, Monaco is this week. So, yeah, front ring research and that. I think a lot of this is going to be done like, after calendar and that. And yeah, HR period ends at Spain. So, I'm thinking, yeah, once that's done, I think then we can chuck a couple of mil into next year's car development because with our awesome lineup we got at the moment. Yes, if we can sign the clerk, that would be lovely. Now, currently, Behrman is 76 rated. Faintly gone up by one during the course of this episode. Currently, P13 and 14th in the championship. And yet, yeah, Kimi Antonelli. That is lovely to see. At the moment, yeah, he doesn't have his super license, so I can't even put him in practice sessions, but I still think it's worth of having that you know, affiliate, so. I think I'm going to do one more, and that's going to be Abby Pullen, and you know what, let's do it right now, so, I'm thinking, sign bonus net, pretty high, say about 100k or so, 200k, because we get on a bargain net. Five seasons, sure. Breakout multiplier, yeah, let's just go all to the max, so. 300k. Yeah, a bit of expensive, you know, for a junior driver in that, I'll admit, but I'm here to take risks. So, five seasons. As a affiliate driver, because yes, yeah, so I want to get these new talents coming, in, these young drivers coming in, build them up in case for every reason that. Oh, okay, for first of all, I thought it was going to be denied, but yeah, no thing she didn't like was the breakout multiplier, tough shit, <laughs> and the deadline, which obviously I knew that was going to happen. But yeah, five seasons affiliate in that, she's okay with the salary in that, so. Abby Pulliam, welcome to the team. And I think 
I'll do one more scout sec, so go to our driver scouting. Because we did scout, oh, who was it? Perez and that, so. Scouted, yeah, Perez, so. The only downside is the marketability. Now, is going to keep on developing, that's the thing. Unless you want to try to sign Hamilton. I know he's going to the far Ferrari. I know it's been coded for him to go to Ferrari. But I want to see what off the chance are. Because if we can secure a seven time world champion our team. Also, signs, he's going to be out of contract as well. He's getting replaced by Hamilton and that. So. Yeah, because the clerk, total 25 mil. You can see 25 and a half, half mils for the breakout fee. Mm. I know for SAP it's going to be absolutely stupid amount, so I'm not even going to bother about that. And yeah, I think, actually what I'm thinking... Do we replace Jordan Murphy in that? I think I already said that we ain't going to because... Oh uh, yeah, well he's got a good contract. Unless we want the best, we want Bobbo. Let's go with Bobbo or do we want Tondi? You know what? Let's go with Bobbo and that. So next episode, yeah, we'll have all of our scout results and that. Because yeah, let's go for the Mac. Let's go for the best team we can. And also that does include the race engineers and that. JP and that. Let's offer a contract, shall we? So he's happy for four seasons. Oh, you want to start now? Free mail. Sign bonus. I will give you four twenty-eight days. And yeah, sign bonus. Actually, I'll adjust this a sec. So, alright, for JP in that, I am going to adjust it to seven days. And to compensate for that, I will up just the sign in that bonus. Because again, I'm thinking if I say half a mil as a sign bonus, join us right now in a week's time. I'll say cut your salary by a bit. Ooh. <laughs> Do we go for that? Yeah, I think. And this. Let's actually not. Let's end the episode now. Let's see if JP will sign this right now. I know I'm umming and arm all this and that. And yeah, we got JP in that. Sweet. Yeah, he did like the immediate nap, but salary was okay for him. He loves the signing bonus. Immediate starting out four seasons. Fuck it, let's go. Let's fucking crack and go with this, folks. See, so, yeah, it's a two and a half mil. You know what? I'm happy for that. Because, yeah, I want this to be a, a awesome team, that. And, yeah, I will take one final look at facilities and that. Things like the factories and that, I'm not going to touch at all. Three and a half mil. Race sim, 8 mil. Scouting, not really worth it. Operations and that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll do some little upgrades here and there, you know. Because, yeah, these are very inexpensive. They do have a stacking effect. Okay, I won't probably go with that. Weather and that. Not too interested. Our boardroom and that. Race confidence gains and... Yeah, we could do a bit more confident in us, but no. So yeah, hay pad and tour center. So that's going to be done in 10 and 16 days, respectively. And yeah, this may be a bit of a longer episode than planned. But you know what? I am happy with that. Yep, welcome JP in that. Yeah, Leclerc. Oh, that is our biggest issue, but we're working on it. Come, come season two, we'll be absolutely there, so... Currently in the standings, if we go to that a sec. So yeah, with our one point, we are in P7 in the championship. 17 points behind RB. I do think there's a chance we can catch RB this season. 
If we can get P6 in the championship this season, I'll be fucking laughing about that. And in terms of the DHL fastest pit stop, we had two banger pit stops we did, so that has put us up by 21 points for P6. And yeah, so if we look at the fastest pit stops and that overall, now Alpine are leading 2.43, 2.3. Red Bull out 2.3, so overall, our fastest pit stops is round with these and that, and go to the Grand Prix and that, so Imola and that, so if we show that, race and that, oh no, I thought it was showing us the, not race results, but the pit stop times, but nope, it does not. Nope, fair enough, just mess around with sends I am menus and that, and... To be honest, I am mumbling on now, so yeah, we've got JP in that. We're getting Bodo at the end of the season in that. We're getting Cardile in next season as well. We've got Wheatley in this episode. And yeah, we'll hear back in that for our new, potentially, again, I'm not too fast about our head of error in that. But yeah, overall, I am happy. So next time. We've got Monaco, so we'll be racing at Monaco. So we are at Monaco. Then Canada, Spain, and Austria. So I think I may skip yeah, Austria, Austria, Spain, and Canada. We'll do Monaco because that's going to be an absolute good one. And also that's where we'll know our scouting results and that. So... That would be something to look forward to, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this bit of a longer episode, most likely it's going to be, because that will get us under an hour in editing. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed this episode, as always, smash that button, feel free to comment down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider, but for our to do, hope you're nice day, but for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.